All right, hey y'all. So good news, back again, sorry for the break, but I tinkered around a little bit off screen um, and I made some a cool update, um, a revelation of sorts. Um, so what happened? All right, when I was messing around with, I set it back up and I was just like, I disconnected a bunch of the wires, especially the outputs of oscillate of the oscillators going to the potentiometers because I knew something funky was going on there. Right. In the last video, I believe where we left off oscillator two was working just fine and oscillator one was doing nothing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to reset up. I'm going to get oscillator one to work and go and start from there. Kind of work my way backwards. Um, make sure that I didn't break something on the first oscillator and then try and figure out what the heck is how to include oscillator two into the mix. So as it stands right now, none of the output connectors that are supposed to go to a potentiometer are connected. The potentiometer for oscillator one is routed and oscillator works fine. So let's hear that real fast. Um, yeah, we've got just about seven and a half volts going into the breadboard. And if I turn the potentiometer up at this point, I believe we'll start to get we'll start to get tone. Let's get the amp up a little bit. So yeah, LED is flashing, we can get some clicks and we can get up to that note. So I'll turn that all the way to the left just to mute it for a second. And I was tinkering around with, okay, what do I do with these, right? Last time when we were working with it, the potentiometer connectors for oscillator two, when we connected the, the potentiometer, it did nothing, right? Like it would, it wouldn't, it didn't have any output. And I think it actually made oscillator one or whatever just stop. So um, I realized if I take the center, uh, the center connector and the left connector and connect them, we start to get a tone and the LED for oscillator two lights up. If I connect pin one and three, it also creates a tone. But if I connect pin or connect leg one and two, so the left and the center, nothing. So it's just the outside legs or the middle and the right leg of the potentiometer that creates a note. So basically what I'm doing is I'm jumping the potentiometer and that gives us a drone. Since we don't actually have a potentiometer connected to this, I can't adjust, I can't like specifically adjust this note. Even if I, if I turn the value of the, of the pot. So let's see what happens when I do that. I'm going to connect these two. If I turn this, it doesn't adjust the volume of this second oscillator. So interesting, right? The cool thing about this, even though it's not exactly what I'm shooting for here, um, I'm at least getting both oscillators to be able to produce tone at the same time, which is a huge win. I think maybe the next video that I do is... Um, I'm actually going to try and cr uh, connect a potentiometer to oscillator two, and I'm going to jump the center pin to one of the outside legs to the, to the right leg or whatever. Um, but for now, let's hear what both of these oscillators sound like together because we got two oscillators uh, playing in tandem. So repeat. I'm going to connect these two jumper cables that are connected to the second oscillators, uh, what would be the pot outputs. It activates both the potentiom, both the oscillators. And if I turn up the, the pitch knob, it starts to include oscillator one. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
That's as high as Oscillator 1 goes. So it's interesting that Oscillator 2 is the basically the same note as the highest note of Oscillator 1. And note that, again, the only pitch that I can change is Oscillator 1. Oscillator 2 is staying the same note. It's just droning. Make this a little more interesting. Boom! Put this on here and see if this works. Nope. Let's try this one. Oh no, I don't think I have the tightener for this. Let's see if I do. Um. This is not the right tool for the job, but an exacto just for punk rocks. Just for punk rocks. Doesn't work. Dang. Fail, fail, fail. What about, what about this? Nope, this won't work. Hmm. I need a mini screwdriver set, don't I? Yes, I do. I don't have anything that's small enough to fit in there. I don't think. Will this work? Nope, it doesn't fit. Dang, bummer. Okay, well, check one more spot. Actually, just try one that doesn't need to screw on there. Doesn't fit. What about one of these? Kind of fits. I'm gonna pinch these together with open hands. Awesome. This works. It's working, kind of. It's my favorite chord. I love this the best so far. Pretty good too. Of course, that's satisfying.
Epic. So stoked on that. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed that little video. I'm glad we uh, made some sort of progress and just weren't left totally hanging in the last one. Um, yeah, that's seven and a half volts. Um, it'll be interesting to sort of test it with nine volts and see how that works. I really love how low it goes with seven and a half, seven point five eight volts through both of these oscillators. And uh, yeah, I guess in the next one, if I have time to do another live stream, I'll. Um, See what happens if I try and just uh, put, maybe build a third one and uh, attach another potentiometer to the oscillator two that we just built today. So yeah, hope you had, uh, if anyone watches this and uh, wants to connect and nerd out about um, building stuff, let me know. The project that we're shooting for here is to try to build a drone thing type of uh, device. Um, uh, so we can add it to the library of Music Landria and just get better at building uh, electronic instruments. This is the beginning of my process into that world. And um, yeah, just uh, this is cool. Making stuff is awesome. And I'd love to connect with other people that are also into this universe. I'd love a mentor. Um, and I'd love to build community around this sort of thing. So let's just do it. As uh, all those people say, uh, just do stuff or whatever. Um, be you. Maybe that'll be my catchphrase. All right. Or no, someone already did that. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what my catchphrase should be. All right. Peace, y'all.